Hey, Gold Rush Miners. Well, episode three is in the books for Hoffman Family Gold. And here's my takeaway. Let's break this down into three parts. All right, so part one, the wash plant. Well, the Z plant was unable to give them the yardage that they needed. So going with a bigger plant makes the most sense. The bigger trommel has a lot of positives. It runs roughly 30 more yards per hour. So over the course of 24 hours, that means that they can run 720 more yards, which means hypothetically that they should be able to produce 17.28 ounces of gold extra per day. Now, this is all if all moving parts keep moving. Love seeing how Jason was getting his hands dirty and still waiting for Todd to get his hands dirty. They did say at the end that they are running both plants so that, that way they can hit their goal and give them a better fighting chance to hit that goal. All right, point two, breakdowns. Well, this episode had just a few breakdowns and they were able to replace a slurry line with a new pipe pretty quickly. They did say that they were down two days and every day that they were down, they lost $20,000 worth of gold. I mean, when they tried to fix it, they used duct tape. I mean, let's give it to the mechanic for, you know, thinking outside the box, but I think... You know, fixing it with duct tape, eh, it won't last too long, and it showed. It lasted, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. All right, so point three. Now, this is for the gold totals. They did fall short of their weekly goal of 45 ounces and only got 35 ounces of gold, which is an improvement from last week's 30 ounces. Hunter did say, though, at the end that they only cleaned up Z plants mats and that they had the trommel mats left to clean up still. I feel honestly that with both plants running, that they should be able to reach their goal. And finally, one extra little point, and this is completely my own observation. All right, so Hunter driving that excavator over that bridge and watching it sway and swing honestly made my stomach do some hula hoops that guy honestly has got balls of steel it's awesome to see how how much trust and faith that they had in him i know i honestly wouldn't want to be the one driving that machine all right everybody so if you like the content hit that subscribe button that's on your screen and leave a comment what was your favorite part of episode three all right well here are a few more videos from the Gold Rush Minute. Till the next time.